job is the next step for his reintegration process. Joining us now from Dating and Associates with our weekly State of the State of San Diego address is our own John Dady. And John, my friend. How are you, Chris? Oh, I am just dandy here. Now, we, it sounds like flights to San Diego with some of these uh, undocumented, illegal, alien, immigrant, child, refugee laborers have been postponed for now. But uh, that doesn't mean that the fervor or the the emotion that's going into this debate has died down at all. Where do you suppose? Where does can we say that San Diego has a unified view on on the refugee issue at all? Oh, uh, you know there, there are some polling that shows that they, there's pretty strong views. Um, but I think that the travesty of all this it seems like our policy, and I'm talking about the national government policy. We have laws in effect, but they're bouncing all over and they're changing. You know whether or not they're bringing them here or not. And I think that's making our uh, government and our policy look foolish. But what you're referring to is, yeah, there's some recent polling that really shows kind of a mirror how San Diegans, as far as the region, uh, feels. And 63 percent, the last polling that I saw, says that minors who arrive in the U.S. undocumented should be turned away at the border. And to me, that's a huge number. And and the other number, Chris, that I think is going to really impress you is 58 percent says there's no moral obligation to take in minors when they come to this country unaccompanied. And I think those two numbers are very dramatic. I I don't think there's any doubt that they're dramatic. If you've got two thirds that say turn away at the border and well over 50 percent says we have no moral obligation. Uh, I, I think that's uh, that's significant. Um, and then, of course, we can dive into that in a number of different uh, social uh, analyses. Could we not? Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, without a doubt. I mean, it's. You know, and again, you, you get into the quagmire of the politics by the, uh, the, the stances of several of our politicians, by some that are saying, rightfully so, that we've got a current law that says that these undocumented uh, minors need to be screened. And then you've got others that are saying, you know, forget that, just send them back. Now, when it comes to the 52nd congressional race, our, our politicians running in that race, Carl DeMaio and Scott Peters, they have two very different viewpoints on this as well. And you've heard me say this before. I think that's the good thing about our political system. When you've got, you know, a, a clear difference in the candidates, it's, you know, people sometimes get confused when they go to the poll and they like both candidates or don't like both candidates. But on this one issue, if you have a strong feeling and you live in the 52nd congressional, uh, I, I think uh, you've got a pretty clear understanding of where they stand. I think the uh, the voice of San Diego said it best. They had a screaming headline that said, DeMaio sending them back, Peter's the longest of a chance. I think that kind of puts it in a nutshell. Well, and again, John, we talk about doing some additional analysis, and if Peter says the law says they get a chance, uh, does that mean that DeMaio doesn't believe in rule of law as it stands? Uh, Which, of course, is how the spin is going to come out, right, from one side. Whereas the other side will say Peter's... I think people are going to spin it that way, but, you know, again... Uh, DeMaio's basic position is, which is, which overlaps a lot of people's position, is that we've got to reinforce our, our border. And I, I think that's probably what you're seeing underlying in this poll, is a lot of people are answering with a gut feeling. Um, and I'm not saying they're saying disregard the law, but I, I'm sure. saying that's the visceral response that I think that you're seeing in this polling results. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and I love polls. I love polls, and I know you do too, John, just because polls give you a snapshot, as you mentioned before. They give you a snapshot in time, but I think it gives you a snapshot into society. Does it not? Absolutely, and that's why these numbers, as I, I use the word dramatic, I, I think that's appropriate. But also, when you're correct, when you use the phrase a snapshot in time, but – if we look over just the past couple of weeks, how our, uh, uh, our national policy has changed as far as whether or not bringing these uh, undocumented folks to San Diego or not, or where to house them or not, those type of things. That's been changing over the past couple of weeks. So getting back to the polling data, I see these numbers probably changing up and down many times between now and November. So when November actually hits, we'll see what that poll taken on Election Day, what that snapshot will say. How many people are going to view this as being their 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 one topic their one their one trick pony on this for instance when it comes to abortion there are some people that will not vote for any 
Uh, they don't care about what a candidate says so long as that, that candidate is pro-life or pro-choice, depending on their viewpoint. How many people are going to view this immigration issue, especially when it comes to the Central American child refugees, and, and the numbers are just in the tens of thousands, maybe 100,000 or so, which relatively in the scope of the, the, the grand scope of the United States is pretty small. So how many people are going to look at this as being their one hill to die on issue? You know, again, that's a great uh, uh, question. And uh, uh, this the, this recent poll done by Survey USA doesn't attack that directly the way you're phrasing it. Mm-hmm. It, it does it in a roundabout way. But I, I think the future polls will do that. But but to answer your question directly, um, the, this poll that was taken of just uh, recent, pretty recently, one of the main questions was, are you following the news stories out of Murrieta today? And of course, the story out of Murrieta was more about the protests than the actual you know federal policy. And six. 65% said they were following uh, those stories. So we're talking about two different things. We're talking about, you compared it to abortion, whether or not people, whether that's not going to be the litmus test, how they vote. But more importantly, I think a lot of times it's not whether or not it's a litmus test for them. It's whether or not it's on their mind the day that they cast their vote. It's also interesting, as you as you mentioned, the phraseology of the question, where you, you know, are you paying attention to the news story out of Murrieta today? As you correctly pointed out, the news story was about the protests. I wonder if that's how people interpreted that question as they read it as well. Did they interpret this as, are you paying attention to the protests in Marietta? Or did they uh, interpret it as, uh, are you paying attention to the child refugees coming to Marietta? You see what I mean? I wonder if they read that the same way that you're talking about. Well, and, and that's why, uh, Chris, you and I have talked about many times, that's the power of polling data is, you know, it's how you phrase the question. And that's yeah. why there's some good pollsters. And that's quite honestly why there's some not so good pollsters, because you can really slant it. And that's why when campaigns do polling, you have to look at who the pollster is, whether or not they're credible, because, you know, if they're getting paid by a certain campaign, it's very easy to form a question that would get you the answer that you want uh, uh, instead of the answer that really reflects the mood of the folks out there. John Dating with Dating Associates in our state of San Diego. John, thanks so much for your time this morning. As always, it's a pleasure. We'll talk to you again next week. Take care, Chris. Take care. All right, John Dating with us in the state of San Diego. Uh-